Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about gate exam and the gate exam alternatives. So I am back again with yet another informational video about one such very important institute for you guys at this moment of time, which has announced its admissions and definitely takes without gate exam and conducts its own exam. Coming to the institute, the institute is nothing but then CMI, Chennai Mathematical Institute. is a center of excellence for teaching and research in mathematical sciences. It has set its own milestone in the world of mathematicians and in the world of mathematics. CMI was founded in 1989 by Professor C.S. Sheshadri who has been awarded by the title of FRS, who is an eminent Indian mathematician. The CMI, when it was founded, was given the name School of Mathematics and it was the part of SPIC Science Foundation. In 1996, CMI turned out, turned out to be an autonomous institute, it became an autonomous body. And in 1998, the School of Mathematics was renamed by the name CMI, that is Chennai Mathematical Institute. It was renamed to reflect the vibrate, vibrating PhD programs in mathematics and computer science. The main research areas at CMI are mathematics, computer science and physics. In fact, I can proudly say that the research groups mathematics and computer science are among the one of the best known in our country. CMI has a talented group of faculties who have strong academic ties with institutions across the world like in India and abroad also and so CMI uh, provides its uh, students visiting faculties from uh, another institutes like Institute of Mathematical Sciences which we have talked about in the video of JEST. Uh, ISI which we have uh, recently talked about in detail from TIFR we have talked about all these institutes and have provided all details if you want to check out you can go and check them so it fetch visiting faculties from IMSC, TIFR, ISI, IGCAR, IIT Madras so in all uh, CMI provides the world class faculty to its students whoever pursue their programs over there just to mention few CMI faculties are including the people who are Bhatnagar Awardi, who are the member of International Mathematical Societies, who are the fellow of Indian National Science Academy, etc. CMI has a formal agreement with world class universities, uh, one such as Ecole Normale Superior Institute Paris, and uh, they have regular every year exchange programs like students from here who are the top scorers will be uh, exchanged with the students over there. And so a student get a chance to get studied under another institute which is leading in world mathematics. And CMI has been the member of uh, a program which is named as Elgent and this program is funded by the European Union. So CMI is one of the uh, three uh, non-European partner of this particular program. So you can understand that the level of uh, activities and the ties and the bound the country, the, the institute is trying to provide to its students. In nutshell, I can say that this is a place where many of you really aspire to go but don't know about. So as I have tried enough to tell you about the popularity and the prestigious institute it is and the, the importance of this institute on the world platform level. This is the time we start with the programs of academy programs available there because uh, CMI have started the admissions for the coming session, 2020 session, it, it has come up with a complete admission announcement, the portal is active, the admission form filling has started already. So let's quickly see what programs it offers. So CMI has one undergraduate program, BSc Honours. So it's not just one, it provides two undergraduate programs, BSc Honours in Mathematics and Computer Science and BSc Honours in Mathematics and Physics. So two streams are available for this. Okay. Then it has a very popular MSc program in Mathematics, MSc program in Computer Science and of course MSc program in Data Science which have just started two years back. But these two are very old and very popular programs. 
again because it's a completely research based institute so it also has phd program in mathematics phd in computer science and phd in physics so right now the admission portal is active and admissions are up for all the available programs and to let you know cmi conducts its own entrance exam written test through which it takes admission for the respective programs so uh, i mean there is uh, there is no entry through the gate exam first of all okay so all those who missed badly and who performed badly in gate have really really bright chance to perform very good in the cmi entrance exam and the one good news is this exam is more or less like the isi entrance exam so which i have told you in detail I am providing the link right here so that you can go back and check it out. So as because uh, this is the right time to talk about the CMI, and I am doing that. I mean, it, I was really in the wait of this notification to come out. In fact, the admission forms have become active from this Monday, March ninth only. So it's just been two days. The forms have started, and. Uh, uh, these are the programs but of course because we are about the computer science and more about those programs so i'm going to take another video to talk in detail about the msc computer science and msc data science it's important to know what are the dates which are important for you guys so yes the application filling have started cmi allows both modes of application online and offline offline means you get the form so you need to get the form from the institute by uh, you know mail I mean, postal. So you have to send a uh, request for that. I mean, there is a procedure which is mentioned on the uh, information brochure. So online and offline applications are, have started already from March 9th, 2020. It is going to get end on April 11th, 2020. So you have pretty good one month to apply, to think, to research, to inquire, to find out and then apply. Okay then uh, because i told it conducts the entrance exam uh, for all the programs except phd in physics phd physics as i told you before in my one of the video about the jest exam joint entrance screening test exam so uh, many institutes uh, take a uh, direct admission through the jest exam so cmi is one of those who takes phd physics through the jest score so admit card will be issued for the entrance exam which is going to get conducted uh, by may 1st so the issuance of admit card will start on that day now very really important date to see entrance exam date all over india the national entrance exam will be conducted on may 15 2020 so it's going to be again a uh, exam on one day in multiple sessions like uh, forenoon session and the afternoon session uh, because uh, the same day program all the programs and the respective tests will be conducted again there are a lot of centers all over india which you can choose from and the result it has somehow declared on its website that the result you might expect the result before the friday of june 19th 2020 so uh, this is about the important day i'm going to provide you all the links in the in the description below guys once again cmi has one of the very unique position in indian academia and uh, i mean this is really sad that very less people talk about it and uh, it's important for you guys to know uh, for all the options you have around you so that you can reach one to one to them and you can try for your you know better future uh, so please do share this video with your friends so that they may get benefited too with along with you and do wait for the next video where I'm going to talk in detail about MSc Computer Science, MSc Data Science, the written exam format, the how to how to crack the exam and all the things about it. Till then, see you very soon. Bye bye.